Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zia Scaraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at the HP Imagine AI event. I'm here with uh, Jiran Huang from uh, Zoom. You're the CTO of Zoom, uh, also known as XD. Uh, XD, you've been in this role about a year now. How's, how are things going? It's great. Yeah, yeah. So I know you were brought in actually to help Zoom with its uh, uh, rollout roll AI. Uh, this is an AI event, but before we get into the, some of the content for the event, uh, what's going on with AI in this Tell me where customers' heads are at. Are they excited about AI? What are the things they want to do with it? Well, we are so lucky. This is the fourth industrial revolution that is going on. We're in the middle of it. But the, the reality is that ChatGPT opened eyes for most of the people. When they need to really get the work done, the analogy I have is the steam engine was invented in England. They need to travel across the Atlantic, it's a long get trip. the work done, yeah. then come back to finish their work. Yeah. So what Zoom is trying to do is really integrate the best AI, the best steam engine out there in Zoom workplace. You can really get an amazing productivity game. I would say in the business application, the most important thing is having meeting down. Now you can follow up within the meeting. You can really track the progress. AI companion provide that amazing capability. So once the meeting is done on Zoom, you have the meeting summary, you have the action item, you can follow up, you can track. You can help to compose with AI as well if you want to really follow up. So we see the productivity gain is very different because AI is embedded in the Zoom workplace. Okay, now, uh, as I mentioned, we are here at uh, Imagine AI, HP's event. Uh, they just announced their new uh, HP Ultra um, uh, AI PC. Uh, so tell me about the partnership you have with HP and why an AI PC is important to Zoom. So Zoom AI company is really pushing forward on the productivity, whether it's for work or for life. HP AI PC opened more opportunity. As you have seen, the virtual background was the first major feature Zoom introduced before Skype, before Google yeah, Meet, yeah. before no, you're the first. Else. Yeah. yeah. And the Zoom virtual background defined the industry standard. But unfortunately, without the AI PC, you probably notice whether it's Teams or Zoom or Google Meet, you often get a haircut, your finger might get a surgery. Yeah. yeah. If and if the lighting is not perfect, it right. looks funny, yeah. So So with the AI PC in partnership with HP, we reach the level, it's just amazing. It's hard for most people to distinguish whether the which background is real or not. That's a major progress. So we not only improve the AI quality with AI PC, we also dramatically improve the battery life. If you have normal PC running the which background versus HP yeah. AI PC, the battery life is increased by 2x. 2x? 2x. That's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. And what else? And from an AI companion perspective, are there things you can do now with an AI PC that you couldn't do before? So the virtual background is only the tip of the iceberg with Zoom's AI companion advancement. We can really improve the noise suppression. You can have, you know, meeting in the bar. The AI PC MPU will help us to eliminate most of the noises. And the, when AI PC is getting more advanced, we will actually bring large language model, speech recognition, translation to the local device. And, but we are not doing this in isolation. Zoom is very good pioneering the federated AI. We massaged three amazing models, like uh, OpenAI's GPT-4, Anthropic Cloud 3.5, and Google's Gemini, together with open source models such as Metas, Llama, and the Mistral. So we massage all those different models together to standing on the shoulder of all those AI leaders. As a result of that, on Zoom's workload, we not only reduce inference cost, so it's very cost effective, but we also dramatically improve the accuracy. And let's take the example of the meeting action item. So we have unmatched quality in comparison to the existing foundation model because of the massage, okay. because of the federation. 
Yeah, yeah. So we want to extend that federation all the way to HP AI PC. In partnership with HP, we believe we can leverage great camera, microphone, so you can sense what is going on together with the very powerful AI PC with the federation of the back end we have, we can make Zoom AI company truly the leader in this space. So when I think of Zoom, it's a company that was born in the cloud, has always run in the cloud, but now you're starting to take advantage of those edge resources. Yeah, Zoom is transforming from being a meeting company to a, a productivity company. An AI company is leading the way. Okay, now I want you to put your vision hat on. We should have kept your hat because that's your vision hat. Right, and uh, when you look out in the future, and AI is a little more mature, what is the collaboration industry going to look like? What are you, what are we? What would a typical day be like? So, I believe AI company will be always with you, and the sense of what is going on, we'll be listening to the environment, we'll be watching your environment, we we'll understand your need. So, a lot of those contextual signals will be available to AI company. AI company will understand your needs, understand your context, and make a better decision on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So we want to democratize the cost effective AI for every citizen. Mm -hmm. So Zoom AI company right now is focused on meeting, but we are expanding from meeting to chat, to document, to communication, collaboration. As we work closely with HP, we believe that the AI PC will provide a powerful edge to leverage Zoom's federated AI leadership, expand from federated cloud all the way to the edge. So you could, you could truly have AI company running everywhere. So it means, I've, I've used the analogy before that if uh, you know, you're a highly paid executive, but we always got somebody with you whispering things in your ear, but that person may miss things. So in this case, the AI companion is going to see things that people just can't see sometimes and maybe help you infer things that that perhaps you wouldn't have before. That's, so right. that a, good way to that's, think about that's it? a good example. Yeah. And truly, you are companion 24 by 7. Yeah. Even if you are in sleep, AI <laughs> company will be watching on your behalf. All right. Well, that's great. Uh, anything else you want to add? Thank you. So It's great to be here with HP. Yeah, it is. it has been a good event. And I'm excited about AI PCs too. It's funny when AI PCs were first announced, I think a lot of people didn't really understand why, you know, the, the gaming aspect's obvious, but I think there's a lot of skepticism of whether we need it in the workplace or not. But I think at this event, they did a nice job of actually highlighting a lot of the things you can do with it. As you mentioned, translation, um, you can make a lot of recommendations to people even how they should uh, you know, show up in meetings. I think the virtual background was, a, the demo you showed was a great example where, I know I've personally stopped using it because as I mentioned, if the lighting's not perfect, it doesn't always work, but I'm excited about the future of this. I can tell you are too, so. Great, thank yeah. you. So anyway, so on behalf of XDM from Zoom, I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on my next episode of ZCast. Thanks, XDM. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.